GM everyone recording from the worst lighting in the world at 2 a.m. in the Netherlands. And today I want to talk about if Emmerich is doomed. Because I saw on the Reddit, the Osu Game subreddit, people are saying, guys, Akali Bet is finally learning how to play aim. And these guys are saying, look, he just three missed the top diff of Fiery Rage Brazil. And also missed on maps like Chudene and getting these crazy 1500 PP jump map chokes. And I want to talk about, guys, is Emmerich actually doomed? Because Akali Bet is twerking on these jump maps and he's finally able to play jumps instead of playing streams. His main stigma here is that he can't play jumps while he's just twerking on stream maps. But I want to ask the question, is Emmerich actually doomed? Because Emmerich, his whole spiel against Akali Bet and his whole advantage that he can play aim and play 2000 PP jump maps and shit. But Emmerich can't really play speed as well as Akali Bet, well Akali Bet can play speed. So if Akali Bet learn how to play speed and aim, then Emmerich is doomed. But is it really that bad or is it really that overhyped? And I want to give my thoughts on it. I recently got some insider info from a guy named Angel Namreen on the Akali Bet situation from here. So it seems like Akali Bet actually used to be an aim player and just recently turned to streams because of the speed meta. And now it seems like he's playing a bit more jumps because i guess he just was bored of speed i guess he just hopped on necrofantasia i was like dude i actually want to get a 1500 on an aim map now and started trying to surpass emmerich and if he actually surpassed emmerich and aim then emmerich is kind of doomed here but i don't know if a collie bed can choke 2000 pps like emmerich can so in my opinion i feel like the whole situation if emmerich is actually doomed or not just because a collie bed can play a little bit of aim like a collie bed has been playing a little bit of aim especially on the bochita rock map he's also twerking on the street maps so it's not that much of a surprise that like he can play a bit of aim here so i feel like people are just overhyped like oh my god a call can finally play jumps bro it's not that deep bros he's been able to play aim for a while now it's just that he's not really been focusing on it he's planning to play speed because that's the meta right now but that's pretty much my quick thoughts on if emmerich is actually doomed because the call everybody can play jumps now like i think it's kind of dumb but i also want to yap about coe and give my thoughts about this so quite literally right now it is 2 a.m. and I was watching some cats eat some cheese, eat some pasta on the outside. And I'm chilling with Angel Namarine. <laughs> the guy who looks like Kaneki Ken from Tokyo Go. He's twerking on the stars, smoking weeds and watching the stars and the sun and the moon. And he's basically just doing that. And I was basically at the COE today. And I just want to give you all a quick story where I actually got fucking lost. Like I went to here because I just wanted to meet some friends. But then I went to the station and I went downstairs and I met some cool people. I met the goat nerdiness and also met another goat of the child Mauler squad, which is the people that I'm staying with. And I was like, all right, well, I got 1% on my battery on my phone because I didn't charge my phone phone i didn't have no fucking battery so i went to the starbucks and that goofy i think didn't have no chargers and what was actually goofy about the starbucks place and the, the chargers in the europe in general is that they have circular holes and not actual like square holes you can plug in if the outlets so i was like shit well my chargers are now rendered useless and i can't charge shit so i was like okay well i'm just gonna try to wing it and try to go off my directions that i got from one guy that i met earlier so i try to go the directions but as like zoro from one piece i got freaking lost bro i went the complete opposite direction and i just found this place and i was like what the fuck where am i so i tried to look for blavonsalen and i asked this one random couple that was sitting outside a flower shop and one of them had a bit of a slack eye and I asked him where is blavonsalen and he's like what the fuck sorry i don't know where that place is and i was like okay my bad g word so i went to the city plaza that was like right next door i found some fish and chips i was twerking on that shit i was like damn that shit looked pretty busting i'm pretty fucking hungry right now got the twenty thousand steps and got all my luggage on my bag and i'd be carrying the logs in the boats right now eating 500 calories of nothing but held the cheese from the grocery store and i went to this cheese shop i saw this shit i was like ate that shit bro i went inside and there was like a bunch of samples of gouda cheese and shit and i was like oh my god this shit looked delicious bro so i ate some gouda cheese and it was like literally the best cheese i ever had in my life and the guy in the cashier receipt he was like dude let me show you around let me show you how to make the cheese he's like i was asking him, how the fuck do you make the shit because i was like hungry like an african child and i was eating the cheeses and i was like dude this is so fucking good and i got some cheese i left that bitch i got some smoked cheese I'm like all right well now i'm gonna try to go to blah and silent so i try to walk around a bit and i got fucking more lost earlier i saw this group of three naked dudes chilling by the river eating some beers and i went up to them because i was fucking lost like they looked like they knew what they were talking about and it was these gothic looking uh, guys 
and I talked to them and like, hey, where the fuck is Bravensolon? Like, I didn't say where the fuck, but I was like, yo, I have a question. You guys know where Bravensolon are? And thank God the people in Europe can speak English. And these guys are like, oh, yeah, bro, it is quite a walk from here, but it's always on the other side. And I was like, oh, shit, you're telling me I went the other side, bro. So I started my Hodge and went to the other side, and I tried to go to this train station, almost got ran over by the train, and I finally found the train station. And I was like, oh, my God, the cat is right there. And I went to the freaking cat station. I don't know why I said cat station. The freaking cat. It's like a stray cat just walking to the freaking floor right now. But I was basically going to the train station. And I walked across that bitch. And I saw the blob and saw one big ass thing. I was like, okay, well, I'm going to head my ass over there. And I went inside and met all the goblin shark people. And I was like, okay, well, this is pretty cool. And I met my friends. And it was pretty chill. And that's pretty much my story of COE so far. It was pretty nice. And to the people that met me and said, what's up? I want to say what's up too. It was nice meeting y'all. But yeah, that's pretty much all I want to say in this video. Just talk about the COE experience. And I think I'll make a vlog about it. Maybe not. Actually, I think I will. Because I just have some moments that I recorded. Where I'm just chill maxing right now at 2 a.m. Looking at the stars and the moon and the sun. And looking at the cats on the bottom that are eating my freaking leftover pasta. Like look at this freaking gat right now, bro. This is so funny. Like, whose freaking cat is this? Whose cat is this? It's, just, it's 2 a.m. and this guy is just walking around the freaking yard. What the fuck? Alright, well, that's pretty much it. See ya.